This video will review VOR navigation using a CDI and HSI. VOR navigation is an important skill to learn for any aviator to properly navigate a charted course when in flight. Our first mission is to intercept the 052 radial inbound. We will use a CDI needle for the first example to navigate our course. Turn the CDI needle to 052 degrees as shown. Notice the CDI needle is deflected to the left, meaning we are currently to the right of course and our desired track is to the left. As we fly to intercept the 052 radial, the CDI needle is centered. Notice the CDI has a firm indicator. This is denoted by the upside down triangle with the abbreviation F arc circled as shown. If we turn the CDI to a heading of 232, then the CDI would show a 2 indicator, meaning that we are flying towards the 232 radial. Notice as we fly directly over the VOR station, the CDI needle is suddenly deflected. This is normal when flying directly overhead a VOR station. Notice how the 2 from indicator flips to a 2 indicator after passing over the VOR station. If we turn the needle to a heading of 232, the 2 slash from indicator would show from. The VOR radials will remain the same no matter if the airplane is facing towards the station or away from the station. Next we will practice flying a missed approach procedure and intercepting a holding pattern with an HSI indicator. This is the ILS and localizer approach to runway 32 left at Boeing Field in Seattle. The holding pattern for the missed approach procedure is indicated in the top left of the chart. The altitudes and headings for the missed approach procedure are indicated in the top right of the approach plate. The missed approach procedure for the ILS approach to runway 32 left at Boeing Field requires climbing to 700 feet then making a climbing left turn to 6000 then flying a heading of 290 to intercept the holding pattern on the 310 and 130 radials. Notice as the airplane turns right, the HSI needle is centered, showing the 2 indicator on heading 130. This is indicated by the triangle as shown on the HSI. We would be flying at the holding pattern indicated by the red X in the chart and would be flying on the 310 radial of the Seattle VOR, frequency 116.8. The HSI needle would show a 2 indication if turned to a heading of 130 and a from indication if turned to a heading of 310. Now let's turn the HSI knob to a heading of 130. See how the HSI needle centers as we fly on a heading of approximately 130. In this example, the airplane would be flying to the southeast of the VOR so that there would be a firm indication when flying on the 130 radial. In our previous example when flying the missed approach procedure at Boeing Field, the holding pattern fix is to the northwest of the Seattle VOR, so the HSI needle would show a 2 indication when the HSI knob is turned to a heading of 130. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you now have a better understanding of how VOR navigation works. Please like the video and subscribe for more aviation videos and flight training topics.